All right, folks, it's time for my uh, follow-up and final conclusions after two weeks of using the MPOW uh, tripod. Uh, obviously, the link will be in the description below. Read that thing. We're using the little MPOW or MPOW uh, remote. Bluetooth, very cool. Not that it doesn't auto pair up. You have to go into your Bluetooth settings and, you know, say, uh, previously connected devices and you'll see it. Uh, but that's all right. But what we're going to go over today is, uh, after the intro, I will show you all the features on this. Uh, device, some of which uh, are not covered on the box it comes in, which supposedly has instructions, but they're sorely lacking. They fail to mention there's two things to charge this thing with its USB, micro USB, and the fill light, which I just figured out how to use tonight by going to xmpow.com it'll also be linked below uh, and you have to double click it there's a little button and you have to charge that thing too so there's two things to charge they never really mention this so uh Let's get to the intro, and uh, this is all going to be shot handheld, so it's not going to be fantastic, trust me. Uh, it's a little hard to hold the phone and maneuver, you know, the selfie stick around. But, I only have one selfie stick, so that's uh, all I have. Let's do the intro. Right now, click. All right, folks, this is going to be my uh, final conclusions, follow up, and kind of a complete breakdown of how to use the MPOW tripod slash selfie stick which will be linked in the description below so we're going to show you everything about this that yes they do have uh, um, instructions on the back of the box but they're sorely lacking in a few things so we're going to do all of this, and I actually dug the gooseneck mount out off the floor, haven't used it for a while, but we're going to be using that. I know I said I was going to shoot a freehand, but I looked at the freehand one and it was just horrible. So, this will be quicker, faster, easier. So, let's cover everything there is to know about this. It'll tell you you have to charge it. And there will be a warning in the box that will mention uh, to... Uh, there's one of your charging ports. It comes with a USB, micro USB cable, of which I have a plethora of... From other devices. Let's just charge it. You know, it'll take about a half hour. And you get a red light. On the fill light. And it goes out. And then you're like. Well how the hell. Do I turn the fill light on. One of the things they don't tell you on the box. I will provide the link to the. Uh, uh, XMPOW. Dot com, the exact page, 
in the description below. Make sure you read that. But if you double click it, you're probably going to need a thumbnail to do this. Uh, and there we go. That's low. I don't know if you can even see that. And then we get a single click, medium, and then one more. Oh yeah, that's uh, some bright stuff there. And then one more and it turns off. I just learned how to use that today by going to their website finally. Sometimes it pays to, you know, go to a product company's website. Yeah, I'm an idiot. But, it's okay. So, all the good stuff about this. Okay, first off. This folds down, of course. And the other thing you have to charge, another thing they don't mention, is this little Bluetooth controller that we use to start and stop the videos nowadays. Now to turn it off, you would just simply hold down where the camera is lit up here. A blue light for about three seconds it'll turn off but I'm using this to turn the video on and off so we're gonna just leave it on for now once again it takes about a half hour this thing is good for about uh, they say 30 feet away and then uh, here's your little wing nut so you gotta you know flip this up into position and tighten it that's all there's to it or you're gonna flip up the uh, other little mountain here the screw mount if you happen to have a phone or other like a GoPro camera or something that can use a screw mount at the top. And then you'll tighten that. Very handy, really good engineering on their part. And at the bottom, you have another screw mount. Now, of course, somebody sends a notification. Ah, it's six o'clock in the morning. God knows who that is. But, on the bottom and so you could screw this on to something else now you're gonna have to flip it up to get your legs open and you'll open them you know one that's the only one you need cleared two and three Now, you will note, if you look, oh my, if you look down here, at the bottom, there's a little lever. Hopefully you can see that. Get these all, uh, whoops, see that's why I don't like the gooseneck. Actually, I hate the gooseneck. But you take that lever and you swing it over there. Shazam. And when you set this puppy down, you now have a tripod. Uh, uh, you probably going to want to face it the other way. And then you would swing this up. Whoops. Okay. This is like the third time I've shot this. I'm gonna zoom out a little. And uh, you would tighten your wing nut. Oh boy. 
and then your camera. goes right in there. Now, these are pretty stiff mounting. Uh, you'll probably want to, uh, before you ever start, you'll probably want to close these up, the legs, and turn this down and hold this like this. And then pull it up to get your phone in there. It's really strong, folks. So, yeah. I, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the phone deciding to quit recording. For no apparent reason that I could think of. Uh, yeah, that's one hell of a strong spring. Got some soft rubber pads. Phone goes right in there. Flip it up, tighten it up, and uh, you can uh, shoot all the videos you wish, or selfies, if you must. Please don't shoot selfies. If you don't know what you look like already, well, that's too bad. So, as usual, <sighs> okay. read the description below for links to the... MPOW support site, so you get all the instructions, and uh, there's a link also to my Amazon affiliate link, oh. and it's still $13.99, I believe that you get a 5% uh, off coupon, you just check the box and you're good to go. If you're on Prime, Prime Delivery on this, uh, it's, I would have to rate this uh, product-wise as uh, uh, 9 out of 10. I mean, nothing's perfect in today's world, uh, and the only reason I'm giving it the 9 is because of the lack of instructions on the box. Uh, or as usual, we shot this on the Mi A2 from Xiaomi, and uh, we're going to process it uh, with our super D-duper Axon M foldable phone because of the A21 Snapdragon in it, which is a virtual powerhouse that was considered a flagship three years ago. Boom! Can't go wrong there. So make sure you uh, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell so you get notified every time we put out cool new content like this. And there ends my follow-up. You won't see any more videos on this particular product, but it really is good, folks. It's worth every penny if you need a tripod. So, you go ahead and make your choices, and, uh, you know, you can poke around. There's some more expensive ones. They have a newer one for $21, and I I really couldn't tell the difference, so. Ah, whatever that might be. Just make sure if you buy one, follow the instructions, and don't try to charge it on your 2-amp charger. 1-amp. Hey, if you're on an Apple, you probably have one of those 1-amp chargers anyway. Just take out the fire stick and plug in the... Uh, USB to uh, micro USB. You'll be set. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Gotta go. Gotta edit. Later.